Bards, Bards, Bards! Brisbane Yamaha knows Bards. Hi, it's Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha here. And today, I'm gonna do a comparison. And it was brought to me, it was brought up on one of the YouTubes. Why don't you do a comparison of the two best 420s ever built in Australia? Do the Renegade and the Explorer. So, I thought I would. Then an unknown fisherman just gave me a brim because he's been practicing social distancing. He's gone and fossicked for some food. Look at that, floppy fresh. You know, it's still moving. Now, and I've just heard, you're allowed to go water skiing, you're allowed to go jet skiing now. And very shortly, the dams will be open. Happy days, let's spend some family fun. Now, before we start, have a look at this renegade, will you, Dan? Because these things are famous, they are by far the best, and I've said this many times, these are by far the best 420 ever been built. And I've asked all anyone, custom builders, any other brand, you know, any other brand, if you don't believe me, bring it on, bring in, we'll do a comparison, we'll go out in the water, and guess what? Nothing. And you know why? Because they are the best. And why are they best? Years of R&D, it's the ride, it's the hull, it's the pedigree of it. You know, and what is the difference between the Renegade and the Explorer? Well, the difference is the application. If you're doing more work on impoundments and estuaries, you want the Explorer. If you want to go offshore a little bit more and do everything, take it out, you'll take the Renegade. So let's have a look at them. And what I've got is the Brisbane Yamaha truth meter which we give out in the yard. You know, I bought 5,000 of them from China. Cost me 70 cents each. You know, I went out, I went to pick him up in a ute. He said, you're gonna need a bigger ute. One and a half ton, it weighed. That's why I'm giving them away. So what we're gonna do is measure them and then we're gonna get them on the road, on the, well, on the water, and we're gonna look up. I'm 110 kilo, I've lost a bit since the Rona came in, but I've still carry that 110 and we'll stand them, we'll see the stability tests and then we're gonna have a drag race. What we're gonna do, we've got 50s on both. I've got Paul McNaught one of our long-term staff salesmen. Paul's famous for lots of reasons, all to do with fishing and boating. He loves fly fishing, he loves lures, he loves soft plastic. He was fundamental in the in soft plastic generation years ago. He's older than he looks, you know, but, and then we're gonna have a drag race and we're gonna see how they are. So to start with, let's do some measurements and I'll give back this fish because apparently I'm not allowed to have it. And have a look at this. Just while we come in, my old mate's come in with his classic boat. Now. We've often spoken about, you don't need to be fancy on a boat. My mate here, he won't tell me his name. Greg. Greg. Oh, he's Greg. I thought he was on the witness protection program. What's your name, sir? Mine, Buddy. 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 We've got Greg and Buddy go fishing. Social distancing, they're a metre and a half apart. Now have a look at this classic boat. How old do you reckon it is? 70s? 60s? 80s. 80s. They never made that in the 80s. What year is this outboard? Paid 150 bucks for it. Going like a beauty, he's catching brim prawns, he's out there on the flathead, loves it. You know, there's a, there's a boat, you can see he's fixed the trailer. Let's go before the police get in for unroadworthy. So let's do some measurements. You know I'm pretty crap on the, on the tape, but let's give it a go. Paul, stand at the bowsprit and we'll come back here. Dan, come back and show them because they always reckon I rig it. I've had some, ah, you're rigging it, you're pulling it down. Look at that, 440. Now what am I saying there? This is a 420, but overall it's 420, 440, right? That's why it's a big 420. Now let's have a look at the beam, Paul. Come across, and what we'll do is we'll just come, we'll come across here, put it there, I'll go under here. Have a look here, Dan. Two meters, 80, oh wait. Can you see that, Dan, down there? Right, you've got to have a look at that. Now let's come up the front here, Dan, just behind the rails. Somewhere, we're here, the console. Let's do it at the console. Two metres, 70. Right, almost 210. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Now, Paul, let's go from internal. From here, you go down to the back, we working area. Right, just to the inside. Yeah, to there. And what we've got is 3 3.329. Three metres, 229, right? Now that gives us a bit of an idea of the, the volume of it. Now, let's have a look. Come back here, we'll start at the front, and I'm gonna make it quick, because I know you all wanna get in the water and see if I can beat Paul McNaught. Now have a look, Denny. 
The difference is that on a Renegade, it has got that blade hull. Now, it hasn't got the flared bow, but it's got the blade hull, which slices in, runs on confused water, and that's why it's soft and it's dry. It's got that five-stage paint on it. Coming down, that's enough. They've seen that. Up here, you can see here, they've got the, we've got the electric motor mount because everyone put them encoders on. Down here, good rails, nav lights. We put stainless steel rod holders because you know how I hate them plastic ones when you catch the fish of your life and you lose your rod and your fish, <coughs> you end up coming back wanting to kill me. We've got the 50 Yamaha and Dan will put the specs up. And then what I've got is, I'm gonna put show them because the Renegade comes with the live well, uh, comes with a live bait tank, right? And you will have a look at that. An awesome rear well, battery underneath. Five people, have a look here. Plenty of storage, safety gear under there. You'd think I could get a detail of sleeping. Good area. Now, another spigot at the front that we put in the all. So you can sit there with a lean chair. We can up here casting. Now, console, let's have a quick console. I've got someone calling me. They probably want a boat. We've got this seat, I'd cut the seat down a little bit. We've got the Yamaha gauges, 6YC. Good rail to hold on. See the screens underneath so you can hold on. I could stand up in waves, because make no mistake, I've seen plenty of these offshore. Now, I'm not going fishing with them because I'm too old, but when I was young, I tell you, I'd be out there, I'd be 100K offshore in this thing on a good day. I'm not telling you to do that, right? But I would have. You know, if I... This is a bloody good boat, isn't it? Now, let's quickly look at an Explorer. Now, let's have a look at this Explorer Trophy. 420 Explorer Trophy. Sexy looking boat. Now, come around the front here, Dan. It's got two-tone, and of course we can do two-tone on a Renegade. It's got the fighter series hull. Now you can really see the difference between the blade hull and the fighter series there. Now what's the difference? Stability for fresh water, for standing up there, casting plastics, for working area. You can see this pickle fork front. Oh, new model sticker. They're sexy. You, that's, that is electric motor bracket, right? Because about, someone that has this, I wouldn't even go fishing with you unless it's got a Minn Kota. We've got a, the, you can anchor if you go in there in a poly molded. We've got plenty of storage for tackle boxes, safety gear, all that gear. Have a look here, Dan, because this is an interesting thing. We've got a little hole there that you can put a Minn Kota motor, storage. You could stash a lot in there. I'd stash a couple of ham and pickles in there myself. I mean, what, wife would put Chardonnay. You know, or you can put a battery in it. Look at that. Now, when you buy this boat, you won't get a 15 year old fuel tank. But that's just one of the factory ones you can see there, and I didn't open it up, 10 micron filter, all that Brisbane Yamaha quality work. Look at the back of that transom, it's got the 50 on it. I love them 50s. I do, the same cubic capacity as our 60. Storage here, you can put another tank in there or more tackle boxes, because you can never have enough tackle. You know, once again, we've got stainless steel rod holders, fully welded top decks, gunnels, which is always good on these. And what's the thing with this, Dan? is if you own this if paul mcnaught owned here he'd be standing up here flicking his lures all day he's got one arm like a mud crab from just casting 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 i've done a lot of that myself too because you get addicted to it sports console once again ergonomic hey paul this is the same console that goes in pretty much he said that means he doesn't know you know but hold on it's good good steering usb there we've got our They'll get a Yamaha gauges, do fuel management. Have a look at revs. This has got a lot of work in area. Let's do some measurements. Okay, Paul, off the bow split, which is probably the end. Well, look at that. Are you on it, Paul? Yeah. Are you right to the pointy bit or something? Well, what's going on here? It's actually 4402. Who would have thought that's longer than a Renegade? Okay, let's measure across. <coughs> this is interesting, isn't it? I know a couple of measurements I'm going to do. Let's measure here. Have a look, 1850. You see that? Up in front of the consoles, Paul. What, you reckon they're here? Well, what's up down here at the console? We get to the console, they always think I'm jibbing it. 1870. And back here, 
18.50. Now, let's measure working area. Three eight fifty. Right now, give us a look at this, Paul. Because well, let's have a look at what the depth from the floor. Show that. Where are you? Where are we at? Four hundred. Four hundred to the top of the gunnel. I didn't do that on a renegade. Renegade looks a lot higher. Renegade is another hundred mil. Have a look at that. You look at those boats, geez, 100 mil makes a big difference. And that's an interesting thing because people say, oh, 420, 460, 450. Well, that extra bit of size, it's not just another 100 mil on the size or 200 mil on the length of the boat. The volume gets a lot bigger. Now, the Renegade's got a step. The Explorer doesn't have a step. The Renegade's got two sounder brackets. The Explorer's got one. Explorers, we've both got handles on the back. We've got, got some rails, but the rails on the Explorer are low profile and they're down. And that's so that when Paul's out there casting and his line, his fly line doesn't get wrapped around, he doesn't hook a lure on it. And of course we've got that uh, carpet, what's that carpet called? Hook free, right? And what happens is you can't, the hooks don't get caught in this special carpet we use, you know? Awesome. Both, all, both come with self-draining uh, with auto bilge pumps. Now, Paul's just said, here, yeah, Paul, he's taking a call. He's probably selling a boat. He sold a baseboard today. Now, come back here. Now, at the chine, 1,800. All right, let's come back here. 1,800 straight across at the rear chine. I like your fishing outfit, sir. I want one. Oh, look at that. 15.40. You're right, Paul, at the chine. That's an interesting thing, isn't it? Now, what about trailers? Have a look at those trailers. Are they the same, Paul? Same trailer. Same Quintrex alloy trailer. Okay, let's get on the water and have a drag race. So here we are, Caboolture River, the mouth of Caboolture River. I've got to stop screaming, sorry. I've, I've got earmuffs and hearing aids and I lose track of the, the tone, sorry. So what we're going to do, we've got Paul McNaught in the, in the Explorer. I'm in the Renegade with Dan. Mind you, we've got 200 kilos plus of man candy in this one. And oh, look, by the looks of that gut, he's got 100 kilo in there. So the drone's at the front so you can see the difference in these two boats. And then I'm going to do some turning. So off we go, we trim down McNaught, all the way trim down, and then go. And I've come up flat, McNaught's come up too, he's lost his hat, you know. Oh, I tell you what, I'm gonna trim out a little bit and see what happens. I, I just did a run before, and at six grand I can do 50, 51, and McNaught with one person could only do 53. Now, hopefully what you can see, is these holes and how they're working, right? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a turn, McNaught. Well, we're going a bit more and we'll get McNaught wet. You know, I like that, bloody salesman. You know why they like standing in the yard just talking? Ah, oh, they like it. That's why they do it. I'm turning. Full noise turn, Dan. Hang on. Look at this. Hanging in there. I should have trimmed down when I did that. I trimmed down. That's a tight turn. Now, hopefully the drone can see McNaught. He's flopping around. The renegade's just chopping into it. Look at spitting it out. Dan hasn't even wet his hair. His hat's backwards looking cool. And I'm driving around like a maniac flat out. God, it's a good day to be alive. Good day not to have the Rona, innit? Out here. Where's that drone, Dan? 
I'll tell you what. My wife is a bit naughty, can't handle it. Doesn't know how to put a boat into a full turn. Hey? Oh, he doesn't like the waves out there. See, that's the difference. Come on, McNaught, try and keep up. He just doesn't know the experience, you know? Experience of doing... Where's that drone, Dan? Can you see us? Try and get it in front of us to see these hulls, right? And this is the difference. What I tried to show you then was the difference between that blade hull and the fighter series. Now, what the difference is, is it cuts through waves better, right? Now, as we... As we come down here, you're still on? I'm going around again. Trim it down, turn it. I'll back it off a little bit. I'm turning it, look at it sit flat. Do that in your bloody, in whatever boat you can think. But if it's not a renegade, it ain't gonna do that, is it? That is just oh for awesome, as the Kiwis say. <coughs> I always say that, people pull me up. They go, oh, you know awesome spelt with an A? Oh, of course I did. I went to a private school, pick up chicks. I went to public, I went to Knox Tech. Oh, I could turn inside. Oh, after McNaught. Have a look at this. Oh, and McNaught's nearly. Flipping it down. These Renegades, I tell you, that's why the Renegade is the greatest 420 that's ever been made. Because of the handling. You know, it's size, it's its hull. It's the design of it. You just don't get any 420 that'll do that. You know, and mind you, that was at 40 kilometres an hour. Wave for McNaught, I think he's... Lucky McNaught doesn't wear green, doesn't wear white shorts. White and brown doesn't match, does it? These renegades are awesome. I don't even know what to say about this. I've had so many goes in them, I've used them, I've sold so many. Everyone that's ever owned one. I've never had a single person that said they don't love it. Right, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna suck McNaught in. I'm taking him in the flat water now. Oh, wait on, watch this. Sit there, Dan. Okay, I'm up here. <laughs> Look at that. Stable, I'm up the back here. Pulling in crab pots. Right at the back. Okay, that'll be interesting. Oh, I know why, because I had Dan on that side. I thought that was a bit. But look, I could pull in a crab pot, I could do anything on that. Very stable. Come in here, McNaughton, we're gonna swap over. I just think, if you're looking for a 420, if you're looking for an all-round boat, take out in the bay, Estuary's impoundment, you really can't go past a 420 Renegade. That's why they're the biggest seller. That's why they're just the yardstick you'll judge all other boats against. You know, and when you compare it with a Yamaha, reliability, performance. You can see that speed, it's like a 440. You know, if, you, if you're thinking about buying a cheaper boat, you better get the truth of meter onto it because you might be buying less boat, you might be paying less and getting less. You ready, McNaught? Follow me if you can. Comes up, flat. Now, oh look at that. Where is that drone, Dan? Look at that. That is just fantastic. Up, flat. You know, I'm dry. It's spitting it out. I'll put a little bit of trim on it. Look at that. That's bloody good, isn't it? What are we doing? Got taco. Look at how fast we're going. 47. We're going 47. Right. Actually, believe it, I'll trim it out. They go exactly the same speed. Oh no, it's faster. 64. This thing's going, oh no, 49, I'll trim right out. 61, 49. <coughs> I don't know why, but the, the Renegade's faster. The Renegade's done two, two Ks faster with the same man candy in it, you know? And look at this, look at it go. This is a nice boat too. It's lighter, it flicks around a bit better, I would say, but it doesn't handle the chop as much. I'll trim it down. All right, I'll trim it down. All these yachties. Yachties don't like me. You know, that, let's face it, most yachties, most yachties go on their own. There's a reason 
Can't get anyone to go with them. Mind you, I have seen some hot chicks go out with yachties. A lot of them you never see again. A couple of boats over there sunk. Don't know what's going on there. Doesn't look good though. Does not look good. Two boats sunk. Look like the same boats. Don't know what happened there. Maybe it's a... That's not good. I'd go and cat flick for some brim over there. I reckon you'd find some. Hey, I'll tell you what, this explorer, I've got it down. And where we are, we're up in the narrows. Right, and this is where this boat, have a look. This is where this boat is in its own. Up in an impoundment, up a creek. You know, you're up here, let's have a look. Stability. Flicking. Pulling in crab net. Let's have a look here. Whoa. Well, I can, oh, I'll be honest with you. I think the renegade's more stable, Paul. You know, I think the renegade's more stable. We'll go up here. Up around the boy. That drone got us. Come on, he can't keep up. I hate seeing boats sunk. You know, they got some. Oh, I know why. They got drums on the back. Wonder why two boats looking the same in the same mooring would sink. What's all that about, you reckon? I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big fan of coincidence. You know, I'm not a big fan of uh, conspiracy. As far as I've seen in my life, it's always just incompetence, covered up with lies, and then people think it's conspiracy. No, it was just a stuff up to begin with. See, this is where you are. Look, imagine you're up north. You're up north chasing the barra. You're waiting for the low tide, and you're waiting for all those little fish to come in. And you're out here. Have you got me, Dan? You know, look at that. That's a beautiful looking estuary there, a little beautiful creek. Plenty of water. I'd get up there and put some mud crabs pots up there. I tell you, there'd be mud crabs for sure. Casting, prawning, catching fish. There could be some big fish in there too. That's a beautiful looking waterway there, Paul. Hey, what do you reckon you'd catch in there? Jacks, flatties, he said. He'd give all the jacks. Hey, let's go and see this bloke. Have a look at him go, will ya? Look at this guy. He's got of a Steve Irwin character, isn't he? Oh, and this is good. I'll go over this chop, right? Not a problem. He got a 25 Yamaha with a Brisbane Yamaha sign on it. He's loving it. I'll go up to him, ask him how he likes that motor. You'll probably hate it. I won't pass him. How do you like that motor? How do you like your motor? You happy with Brisbane Yamaha? Good on you, man. Do you see that? Everywhere I go, there's someone with the same. That guy, 25 Yamaha, just loving it. Loving the service from Brisbane Yamaha. No wonder they're the biggest. Okay, so we're up in the river with me, Nort. St try and stay with me, me, Nort. I don't know. Is it just you or is it me? You know, maybe I trim it differently. Maybe I've got Dan in him. Oh! Oh! Bastard. Look at this. I nearly ran McNaught into the sand, you know? McNaught! Dan didn't want me to show you that. I just ran ashore on a sandbank. But for all you people that are in Morton, up in Bribey Creek, if you haven't run ashore, well, you've never been up in Mor up in Bribey, up through Caboolture Creek, have you? And that's why you have a sounder. This hasn't got a sounder. I put a big sounder on this. Awesome. Come over here. Look at that. 
run a sand, you just go forward, jump out, push it out. What's wrong with any of that? That's how I do it. That's how everyone does it. Look, very stable boat. You know, very nice boat just to be motoring on. Effortless, just holds its path. Very, 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 very nice, that renegade behind me. Hard to go past, but that's the best you can get. You know, and that drone, have a look at that hull, that fighter series bringing it out. Just magnificent, you know? There's a chair, someone comes up here, favorite fishing spot. Bring it down. This is where, this is explorer country. And what we've just seen, and Dan said, oh, we won't show them you getting bogged, Darren. I said, yeah, you will. Do that, because did you see how easy and how this boat floated? And that's really the benefit, McNaught. Do you see how I run it aground to show people how to take it off? Yeah, you would not have got that renegade off that mud bank. But the Explorer, I could just push off. Now, a lot of people think that, oh, you just made a mistake and run it aground. Well, I did. But that doesn't matter. We turn it into a positive and show you. Because the Renegade's got that deeper V, he, Paul McNaught would have just wedged solid, right? We'd still be pushing him, waiting for the high tide. But that is the beauty of this boat. Dan could stay in it and I could just push it off. Now, and McNaught, well, he chickened it out and had to go round. Well, that's probably because he doesn't own that boat. I'm going to have to buy a new prop, which is no big thing. No big deal. You know, props are cheap now. Look at that, up to a crab pot. This would be like a illegal. I once met a man whose claim to fame was he pioneered the South Australian illegal sand crab industry. No jokes. He would have loved a boat like this. And I can tell you, between these two boats, if you're looking for a 420, one of them is your boat. For most of you, it would be the 420 Renegade. But for the blokes who like coming up in these shallows, like crabbing, like prawning, like catching jacks and flathead and whiting, you know, this, uh, this Explorer Trophy is an awesome boat. It's got its benefits and it's got its downfalls. As an all-purpose boat, I'll take the Renegade. And what I want to say to you is, the waterways have never been fuller, they've never looked cleaner. Spend some time with a good mate or take your family out. And if you can, take your kids out because someone took you fishing, didn't they? I'll see you next week.